calling it a love song what is up my beautiful gemstones it's mary gem and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be on who has their eye on you you know romantically platonically but mostly romantically we're going to be seeing okay we've got um songs we've got channel messages we've got six piles here today let's get straight into it so pile number one we've got a gold pole and you can see like you know a blue background and you can also see like a pink and then like a aqua blue background as well pile number two we got a gold pole you can see like green grass in the background you can also see part of a gear as well and then pile number three you can see you know a gear for like a clock and you can see some gold framing and you can also see a purple background as well pile number four you can see um like an outline of a green tree and you can also see like you know the overexposed white background it's really pretty actually and then pile number five you can see a golden gear and you can see the um nail which is like in between and then it's like a really dark green deep green like almost black color as well and then pile number six we got a silver pole and then we also got um like a pink background as well so y'all guys these are the six piles please pick as many as you guys would like please watch the entire video as well i love y'all so freaking much and yeah let's get straight into the video who has the eye on you what's up my beautiful gemstones let's get straight into your reading so who has their eye on you Alrighty. so your song is enamor me by pianos become the teeth and then your overall energy is going to be the alien emoji card so definitely your person that has a crush on you or the person that has their eye on you could 1000 percent be a taurus or a um aquarius definitely taurus aquarius um maybe even a scorpio and like maybe the name starts with an s and also ends in an s as well like i'm getting that as well for some reason but yeah so the message that came in also was something about this person saying like they haven't liked you for a very long time and i also heard them say something like um my friend introduced me to you my friend said we would make a very cute couple um and i wasn't really sure so i'm getting something about like i don't want to say this person was um forced to like you but i feel like somebody you know suggested that like you know you guys would be very cute together so i feel like that's how they started liking you so it's kind of like they liked you on like a very i don't want to say a superficial level but like um there is a bit of like a superficial vibe where it's like you know um they weren't like oh i see you i like it. it was more like someone gave them the idea and they were kind of like okay we'll see what happens you know so um Hang on, let's go straight into it. I'm super excited, okay? Who has the eye on you? So we've got the Hermit card that came up right already. Right. So I'm going to put the card over here. Okay, the Hermit card. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this person is financially abundant, okay? They were thinking, maybe like they were like, they've reached a certain age and they were like, you know, maybe I should just, you know, try to find someone. But like they didn't want to use um, any dating apps as well. Like I'm getting the vibe where it's like they're saying they wanted to meet someone organically, okay? Okay, we've got the Death card. Wow, ending something. So they were heavily debating, you know, um, whether they should look like, you know, cut, like go after you, whether they should like, you know, make a move on you basically. Because they felt like they were like, you know, at the right place financially, abundantly. They felt like, they felt like you know, there was nothing holding them back basically from, you know, um, getting into a relationship. But like at the same time, maybe they felt like they still weren't ready. The Justice card and the Four of Wands. Wow. They weren't really sure if like they should really go after you basically i feel like they were like still like you know debating or something like something's heavily holding this person back as well maybe they they learned some new information about you but yeah let's get into your song and then we'll get into your channel message which is at the back of the card so it says um i let myself rest i've shed a lot of water over you it's easier to remember your face i don't feel only any closer to you yeah I'll leave them alone. Empty eyes cannot see me. I know I'll drink to my own. This person literally sounds so sad. Well, like such like a Debbie Downer, like, you know, sad vibes. Um, it's just this vibe where it's like they're saying, okay, fine, I'll leave you alone. You know, like the, the hermit mode where it's like they're going back in their shell now. I feel like maybe there's someone that definitely like, bro, I'm getting the vibe ready where it's like, you know, they'll get close to someone, they'll talk to someone for six months and then like they'll go back into the shell and they keep repeating the process as well. So I feel like they struggle maybe making long term um, connections and long term relationships. I feel like they always end up, you know, ending it and like, they'll try to come up with like their own justification where it's like, oh, I had to end the relationship because of this and this and this. So it's like they'll come up with like, you know, valid reasons, but I feel like at the same time, it's also like it wasn't that valid. Um... But the four of wands, I feel like, you know, they're still thinking about, like, you're at the back of the head or something. I feel like um, they're just saying, like, you know, you guys might happen. You guys might, you know, try again or something. But they're saying, like, definitely right, not right now. And probably, like, you know, in your guys' own time as well. Like, they're saying, 
um, if they get a sign, basically they're saying, okay, fine, then I'll like, you know, reach out to you again. But yeah, so your channel message says, don't worry, I won't call you or text you again, keeping my distance. Oh my word, guys, this is really intense. So um, this person is saying like, yeah, they're not going to text you or call you again. They'll try to keep their distance from you or they're going to keep their distance from you, okay? So I definitely feel like, you know, this might have happened in the past already. I feel like um, you might already know who this person is. But yeah, let me show you the cards first. So we've got the emoji alien and then we also got the hermit card variety. So let's first start with the emoji alien card. This person kind of felt like, um, they just kind of felt like maybe they weren't ever going to meet someone or they just felt like it was very hard to meet people. Like I'm getting the vibe where they're saying like, I, I'm dating apps don't work. I don't like going online. I don't like meeting people. Like they don't like meeting people a lot, you know. Um, they might even be a, I don't know, <clears throat> I just feel like they struggle meeting people, they struggle, you know, talking to people, and, like, it's really hard for them to, you know, open up and, like, you know, make long-term connections and long-term relationships, basically, so that was something that they struggled with a lot, and, um, yeah, somebody else told them, basically, like, you know, maybe you guys make a good couple, and I just feel like, you know, they were intrigued, they were thinking, maybe I should, maybe I should go after you, maybe I should try to, you know, get to know you, but I feel like, um, the closer they got to, maybe this, the more scared they got, or maybe they kind of were feeling like this seems too good to be true. And I just feel like, you know, they ended up, you know, retreating and going back in their shell, basically. So either this person already, you know, did this in the past, or it's kind of like this might happen very soon. And I just feel like, you know, this person's going to, like, you know, start, you know, getting close to you and everything. But, like, eventually, I just feel like, you know, they're going to be thinking that this is too good to be true because, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, this talks about abundance, it talks about, you know, things working out, it talks about, you know, wishing, it talks about living in and it talks about divine timing your counterpart and everything the justice like it's all amazing cards but i just feel like um this is vibe where it's like they felt like this connection was basically too good to be true and um i feel like because of that they basically just retreated back into their shell basically guys okay um let's see what the homo card yeah i feel like this person okay this should be actually the last card for the ten of pentacles this talks about abundance in like you know all aspects of your life i feel like um this person is doing very well financially i just feel like you know they're at a point in time of their life where it's kind of like they're ready to settle down they're ready to you know go into the next phase of their life they're ready to just yeah i feel like you know maybe they even just recently bought their own place like they just uh, moved to a new city they don't know that many people like i even get the vibe where it's like they might have just started university or yeah they might have even moved to your town recently and it's kind of like um, they don't really know that many people, they don't really have that many friends, and maybe they even thought that, like, they should rather have a friend first before they even have a romantic partner, so maybe this person decided that they would rather have you as a friend, or I just feel like, you know, they changed their mind about something, but, like, something made them, you know, be like, no, like, this is not right, I shouldn't do this, I should rather just go back into my shell. So, um, yeah, but, you know, the Ten of Pentacles also talks about going through a very rough time, and, like, you know, working really hard, and then finally getting to you know all the money finally getting to that abundance so i just feel like they, this is vibe ways like they're saying um they're afraid to put in the effort to get to know you that well i feel like they're afraid to put in the effort to like you know to make this connection work as well it's kind of like they want to date you they want to you know like be with you and everything but i feel like with the four of wands it's kind of like they're definitely thinking about too idealistic as well and they keep trying to push off this connection. They keep trying to push it off and, like, you know, think about, like, oh, well, I'm busy with this. I'm doing this now. I can't do this. Um, and, yeah, they feel like they're not getting any closer to you as well. They feel like they're just, like, you know, wasting time. Um, and they feel like they're just, like, you know, letting themselves go, basically, as well. Yeah, they're letting themselves go. Well, like, they're thinking about more money right now. So they're just thinking about you right now, but they're not doing anything. The death card ending a connection for good and like a downfall coming as well very spiritual i feel like they're just you know trying to be like they're being very idealistic right now and i just feel like you know with the death card and them saying they're not going to talk to you again it's kind of like they're saying i'm being serious like i'm not going to talk to you again like they're saying like i won't try this again like i just feel like this person might be th feeling like they're not going to try again to get into another relationship basically like they're saying i'm not going to do it again it was just too hard it's too much effort i can't do this so I think, you know, if you want to make this connection work with this person, if you know who they are, it's basically saying you're going to have to really put in a lot of effort on your end because I feel like um, this person kind of feels like they can't do this basically. They're saying like it's too much hard work. And you know what what they say, like it takes two to tango. 
you know, so I feel like this person felt felt like they were kind of, you know, trying to make this connection work on their own, basically. And then we got the Justice card. They decided to make a decision by themselves, and they feel like, like I said, they made their own um, justification about why this connection had to end. And in their mind, they feel like, you know, it was for, like, basically the greater good. Like, they, they felt like it was for the right reasons, basically. And then we got the Four of Wands. So, um, I just feel like they're saying, you know... If you guys were to, you know, um, start again, they're saying you need to start first. You need to make the first move. Like, they're saying they're not going to make the first move. Um, yeah, they're not going to make the first move, basically. They're saying um, if they get a sign from the universe, from the universe to take you, or if they get a sign from the universe that, like, they need to, like, you know, go after you again, they'll do it. But they're saying, you know, as of right now, the Hermit card, they're going to stay in their shell right now. They're not about to do anything. They're not going to move forward. They're just going to stay where they are right now and... Um, focus on other things and, you know, overthink things, maybe try to make more money, make more friends as well. Like, I'm seeing them saying they want to make more friends before they make more, uh, romantic connections, basically. So, this person might just be wanting, like, you know, a friend right now, guys. But yeah, that is what I got for part number one. Very interesting. Okay, let me know if you guys like a personal reading. My details are down below. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Let's get into the next one. What is our pile number two? This gets straight into your reading. So, who has their eye on you guys? This is going to be maybe like a very deep reading or something, but we'll see. So, um, your overall range is going to be The Lost by Wang Fu Productions. And then we've got your song, which is Fools by Troy Savan. All right, and this is your cart. So, the message that was coming in was very interesting because I heard them say something like, first, I heard them say, um, they've been holding your hand and they've been with you through your toughest of times. And, like, they've been liking you and, like, watching you from the sidelines or something. Like, I got them being the moon card. You know, they definitely could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Definitely strong Scorpio and Cancer. Like, Cancer, 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 Scorpio, Scorpio. Uh, maybe even some Virgo as well. Like, Virgo rising or something. Virgo, Venus, Virgo, Mercury. Ooh, Virgo, Mercury, bro. Yes. So, um, yeah. And I just feel like this person might feel like... Um, they don't want to take advantage of you because I feel like this person might have been there for you in a very vulnerable time in your life. Or maybe this person has been with you when you were just going through a very tough time. And it's kind of like they're saying they don't want to, you know, um, do it too soon. Like they don't want to, you know, come forward and like say they like you like too soon. Because they want you to make a decision by yourself and like, you know, not be, not not it be a bias one. You know what I mean? Like they don't want you to just say yes to them just because like they're the only one that asks you out or whatever, you know. Um, yeah. Like, they don't want you to, like, pity them. They don't want you to just say yes just because of, like, some unknown reason, basically. They're saying they want you to just like them for them and, like, on your own time, basically, bro. Especially with the whole time thing. So, I feel like they're waiting for things to die down between you guys, maybe. Or they're waiting for things to die down in your life as well. Super interesting. So, let's see. Um, who has their eye on you? So, we've got the, um, the watch card, the time, okay? Let's see, we've got the Knight of Cups, bro. This is a romantic offer. This person has a lot of feelings for you, bro. Like, I feel like they've been thinking about it for a very long time. Especially with the Mercury in, Vir in Virgo, bro. Honestly, like, guys. And, like, don't at me, guys. But I feel like Virgos are, like, the romantic... Like, the romantic... What's it? The Loki, the most romantic sign of, like, all the Zodiac signs, guys. Loki, okay? <laughs> but only, like, you know, Venus in Virgo and Mercury in Virgo. Like, not Sun Virgos. Like, no, if your Sun's in Virgo, you're probably not romantic. But, I mean... I'm kidding, but yeah, I feel like it's more like your other placements, or like your moon in Virgo even, super romantic. Okay, we got the Tempest card, wow, they just feel like they don't want you to, they don't want to pressure you, they don't want to put too much pressure on you, but for real, like they're saying, you know, if you like me, um, that's cool, or like not that, but I just feel like they're saying like, they like you, but like they're saying they don't want to spring it on you basically, like they want to rather take their time got the page of pentacles they feel like you're gonna only like them back for a superficial reason or they feel like um i just feel like this person really likes you a lot and it's kind of like they're saying they just feel like it's not right basically like they feel like um they just can't like they feel like they're saying i like you and everything but um how we start like they feel like they're saying it's too late even to start a relationship basically like they're saying it's too late <laughs> for some reason wow what the heck like they're saying it's too late for this relationship what the heck but they like you so much so this person might just be trying to come with excuses come up with excuses on why they shouldn't date you basically bro for real so let me show you the cards and we'll get into your song okay so we've got the lost and then we've got the cards okay i mean the um the watch so fools by choice of one 
Okay, I'm tired of this place. I hope people change. I need time to replace what I gave away. Only fools fall for you. Only fools fall. I see swimming pools and living rooms and airplanes. Bro, definitely long distance. This could definitely be a very, like, a long distance relationship. And they're not really sure if you guys can make it through, basically, you know, like, they're saying that, yeah. And then your channel message says, oh, guys, literally, yeah, your channel message, it says, scammed out of my money. So this person might have just recently got scammed out of money. Well, I feel like they're going through, like, yeah, maybe a financial dip, bro, for real, like, with the Page of Pentacles. They just might be trying to watch their bank account a lot right now, and they're saying they can't afford to come see you again, or something's stopping them from being able to see you, basically, and come forward to you. So, yeah, something's blocking them. And maybe you've been giving them a bit of like mixed signals as well. Like you're saying, okay, you can come, but like you're not sounding so enthusiastic. And I think it's making them also like think things, overthink things a lot as well. Very interesting. Like the Virgo placements are coming in a lot here. And then yeah, it says, it doesn't make any sense. How would we even meet up? You live so far away. So the person that has the eye on you lives very far away from you. And they're not really sure how you guys will make this connection last basically, okay? So with the last card, um... And there's just this vibe where they're saying like maybe they feel like they don't really compare to all of your past lovers your past partners or something because there's this vibe where it's like maybe they feel like you know they're like i don't want to say the weakest but they look you feel like they're the weakest the most unattractive of all, of all your past partners you know they feel like yeah um they might even be like scared to meet your family i feel like they're scared to you know approach your past for some reason um, maybe they're scared to come to your house because they're scared of like, you know, your family or they're scared of your friends Or they're afraid of like, you know, moving forward and like, yeah, I feel like they're afraid to meet your friends or something for some reason But, um, it's kind of like they want to see you, they do like you, but at the same time they're saying like, you know Am I being foolish now? You know, with the full card, like they're saying how this even work Like they say they want to think about everything through, they want to think everything through before they, you know, come forward And even like, you know um, spend all this time, spend all this money, you know, getting to know and everything. If it's like, if it's not even going to be for a good reason or like if it's not even going to be a long term relationship, they're saying like, you know, they shouldn't even put the time and effort in basically. So I just feel that this person is trying to really think things through before they try to even move forward with this connection basically. Yeah. They're overthinking a lot of things and like, they just want to know that they like have everything checked basically because this person might be going on a trip soon and it's kind of like you know you're busy packing your bags and it's like you have a checklist so this person is basically just making sure that they have all of their things packed basically before they you know go forward <laughs> but yeah the knights of cups just talks about a romantic offer so this person is super romantic bro for real i feel like that's how you'll know who this person is like they're super 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 romantic i feel like um they could definitely be a gemini um, like, Gemini is a low-key kind of romantic, bro. Like, Gemini is Sag, bro, for real. Um, but it could also be a water sign as well, though. Can't just a Pisces. But then again, we've got the Virgo with the pentacles as well. So, this person is thinking about making a huge romantic gesture towards you, bro, for real. And I feel like it's going to be super dramatic, super big. I just feel like it's going to be a huge dramatic gesture. But, like, they keep taking guessing it. They keep thinking, like, you know, is that the good, is that the right thing to do? Like, you know, would you even like that as well, you know? Like, would you even like them to do this big romantic gesture? But I feel like you're low-key confusing them as well when it comes to emotions, when it comes to their feelings. Like, they feel like you're just really, like, confusing them a lot as well. Like, they're saying, you're confusing me. I don't know, like, what's going on. Um, yeah. Like, I remember I was talking to my, this one person that I know, like, she's a Leo. And she told me how, like, every time this one Aquarius person, or, like, no, this one Leo person who always meshes them, they always felt, like, um, just, like, really giddy. They couldn't even do anything. They couldn't talk straight. They couldn't think straight. They couldn't do anything. Like, they just felt like they couldn't do anything, basically, because this person made them feel, like, that many emotions. So I feel like that's similar to you as well, where it's, like, you make them feel so many things. It's, like, they can't do anything, bro, for real. And then we've got the Tempest card. I just feel like they're waiting for you to commit more or they're waiting for you to just like, you know, show that you're also, you know, that you also are like committed in this relationship, basically. They're saying like, you know, they don't want to be the only ones, you know, putting in the effort, driving all the way to see you, putting all, like, you know, falling for you and everything if we're not going to be doing the same thing back, basically. So I feel like they're saying they want love, they want appreciation on your side as well. Or they want you to give them some answers as well, you know, because... They might be a bit right because they don't know about your past that much. Yeah, for some reason, I can even see them saying, like, you know, I don't even know your last name. I don't even know your middle name. 
I don't even know this about you. I don't know this about you. I don't know this. I don't know this. I don't know this. And I feel like it's really making them like, you know, like angry, go crazy or whatever. And I just feel like they want to know more about your past. They want to know more about you. And like, you know, once they feel more comfortable with you, like I feel like that's when they'll come forward, bro, for real. Because this person really likes you a lot. The page of pentacles. Yeah. They feel like they need to know more, know more about you because, you know, the pentacles, the page of pentacles talks about, you know, being a student writing things down, taking notes. So I just feel like they're saying that they need to take a lot of time to digest the emotions a lot as well. Because I feel like everybody has different ways on how they um, process things. And I feel like this person takes like, you know, a week to process their emotions basically, yeah. They might even be like a very fast reader as well. Like that's how you'll know where they are. Like they read very, very, very fast. Um, and they read into everything as well. But I feel like at the same time, they need to know more about you. They wanna, like, yeah, they wanna know more about you basically. The Queen of Cups, they feel like you're someone that's like, you know, super um, sensitive. Well, I feel like this is more of who they are. They're a very sensitive person, very romantic. I feel like um, they've definitely gotten into a lot of relationships in the past before as well. I feel like, you know, like they're not like, this isn't their first relationship, bro. Like, nah, it's not their first relationship. I feel like they've maybe been in like four serious relationships, maybe like four or three or something, um, maybe even seven. But I feel like at the same time, it's kind of like they do this with everyone. They're like, they, they need to get to know you. And then they'll like, you know, do everything. But I feel like they're, they're this is just how they are basically. Where they're saying like, listen, let me, you know, get to know you better. And then we can talk about like what we'll do next basically. Like, yeah, they're saying like, you need to be reasonable. You can't be like, you know, setting expectations too high as well. Like, yeah, they want some answers from you as well. And then we've got the time card. So I feel like it's going to take a bit of time for this connection to, you know, um, just flourish and do well. Or it's going to take a, a bit of time for them to, you know, come around as well. Or, like, it's going to take a time, a bit of time for them to, you know, just, like, feel more comfortable with you, basically. But, y'all, guys, that is what I got for part number two. I really hope the video resonated. Thank you so much for watching. I love you loads. And let's get into the next one. What is our part number three? Let's get straight into your reading. So, your song is One Day by Ella May. And then we also got your overall energy being the boss and oil card. So let's get straight into it. Honestly, guys, I freaking love Boss and Oil. Like, I freaking love them together. But at the same time, um, the message that was coming in um, was something about this person saying, like, it was, like, very, like, I don't know, bargaining, persuasive type of, like, you know, the five stages of um, grief or something? Like, I'll put it on the screen, the five stages. I feel like you guys might be at the last one where it's bargaining. Because it's bargaining, then I think it's depression, then I think it's acceptance. Like, yeah, so something about that was coming up as well. But anyways... So, I heard this person say something like, um, I know you better than you know yourself. Or, come on, I know you better. Like, I just heard them saying, come on, like, come on, come on, come on. Like, I know you better than this. Or, like, are you being serious right now? You can't seriously be mad at me just because of this one thing. Or, like, come on, like, you can't be serious. And, like, like you can't be serious right now. I just feel like, you know, maybe you walked away from this person or something. Yeah, like, yeah, they survived. It's like, you, you walked away, you moved on. And I just feel like, you know, they're seeing you basically, you know, flourishing, doing well. And they're kind of like, they don't accept it basically. They're saying like, listen, you cannot be doing well in life without me. <laughs> I just feel like this person feels very entitled. And um, we'll see more about them though, because maybe it's not all bad. I just feel like the overall energy that I just got immediately, like when I saw this card, when I saw the song, <clears throat> and the channel message, I just felt like it was very like, they're saying that like, you can't be mad at them for this one little thing, you know, like, they're saying, um, no, they're saying, like, you know, like, give me another chance, or, like, they're just saying, like, like, this, this argument, this falling out that you guys had was so little, they're saying, like, you can't be seriously mad about me over this one thing, or we can't be able because of, like, this one little thing, like, are you being serious, like, that type of vibe, and sorry if I sounded rude, but, like, that's what I'm busy hearing, <laughs> okay, we've got the confident card, okay, the confident Cause I just feel like you know you're walking away you were like I'm done with you and they were kind of like what what do you mean you're done with me now you're not no you're not type vibe okay so let's see your song okay I mean your cards we've got the three of cups okay a third party situation this might be a third party situation maybe you walked away from this person to like you know be with someone else um like low-key yeah but I feel like you might be in another relationship and I feel like this person is still you know liking this ever question you and it's kind of like they still like you even though like you aren't into them basically bro for real um but i feel like they want to have like a good time with you though or something We've got the ten of wands you're stressing them out as well though they might feel like you know a lot about them and like they might be scared that you're gonna tell this secret or something like i'm hearing something about like um are you gonna betray me or like yeah you're gonna betray me like that sounded so serious but it's like okay like let me know if you guys know what that means 
but they're afraid that you're gonna like tell these secrets or something or they're afraid that you're gonna like you know spread lies about them um like wow okay we've got the eight of cups again walking away i feel like you walked away from this person i just feel like it's really stressing me out that you walked away like they're saying like why are you walking away like what is this and then we got the eight of the eight of wands as well we got these similar cards actually in another pile but anyways um in my last video i mean they just feel super overwhelmed right now they're saying like wow like they're just saying that they they can't believe that you actually like walked away they're saying they can't believe you actually like you're not putting up with the bullshit anymore basically because i feel like you know you might have been with this person before maybe you dated them or something and i just feel like you were like nope i'm done with you bye and now they're kind of like whoa man i can't believe you actually i can't believe you actually like i can't like, they're saying i literally cannot believe it bro for real they just didn't expect you to you know make this decision i feel like what you did was very unpredictable and they just didn't see it coming basically bro like oh my gosh comment down below pile three if you guys chose this pile because that's insane so yeah the boss and all card and then we've got the confident card as well so your song says i tried to move on forgot you were too much look what you've done could it be overdone all the rumors seem to be true look at me right in the eye time's up bro time is up okay this feels like a con continuation of pile two loki <laughs> but yeah maybe you watch more than one pile as well because i'm keeping i keep talking about the other piles but yeah, anyways so yeah this talks about like you know moving on and everything so i just feel like you know you moved on from this person you don't like them back or whatever even if you didn't date them i just feel like you know who this person is and maybe you don't find them attractive or you just really aren't into them and it's just like bro i don't like you back i'm sorry it is what it is um but this person still likes you they're kind of like they don't want to accept the fact that you aren't into them, basically. And I feel like even if they have a partner, even if you have a partner, like, they still like you, bro, for real. So this person definitely might not be a very loyal person as well. Where it's like, they can't just, like, one person. Like, they always have to, like, you know, more than one person. And, yeah, they struggle, you know, only keeping the eyes on one person, basically. Like, they struggle, you know, being loyal, basically. So, yeah. And then it says, saw you walking away and almost pulled you back. Damn, bro. And I almost pulled you back, okay? break your back okay 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 let's start with the boss in oil card so yeah you know this person just feels like they know you very well they feel like um you don't know what you're talking about like it just feels like this person's like saying like listen i know you well enough like they're saying you know um we're very similar and me and you were like a good pair for each other um why don't you like me back and I just feel like, you know, like, guys, let me know, like, I just feel like you don't see, you don't find this person to be very attractive. And I feel like that's why you don't like them back. Like, I just feel like that's coming up a lot, though. Well, this person feels like, you know, you don't find them attractive for some reason. Um, but, like, if that's not the case, I just feel like um, they're saying, like, you shouldn't be with the other person. You should be with me, rather. Like, they're saying, like, you know, like, that type of vibe. Like, they feel like you gave them an unfair chance. They're saying, like, you know, you should have given me another chance or... They feel like you made your decision too um, quickly. Like they're saying you didn't even think about it. Like you should have waited longer. You know, what if you change your mind? Um, that type of vibe as well. Like they keep thinking like, you know, are you going to come back? Or like, are you actually done with them? Like, are you actually like done, done? The Three of Cups. Okay, this talks about, um, yeah, you know, third party celebrating, going out, um, expanding your love and everything. I just feel like this person might be already in another committed relationship, but I feel like they still like it takes you, or they still like, you know, looking at you, but it's like, even though they already are committed, bro, for real. Like, this person has already so much on their plate, like, they're already busy, bro. Like, how do they even have time to freaking still have the eye on you and do all this stuff, bro, for real? Like, comment down below, guys. Um... But yeah, this person's like really preoccupied and I just feel like they still think about you a lot though. They still like you. And like, I feel like at the same time though, they don't want you to find out or they don't want the partner that they have right now to find out about you as well, bro, for real. Because it says I almost called you, I almost pulled you back. So I feel like this person um, has it out on you, but I feel like at the same time, they don't want to risk, you know, losing what they have right now for this connection as well, you know. Because with the Eight of Cups, I feel like maybe you walked away or they walked away. With the Ten of Wands, I feel like um, this person's basically saying, like, listen, um, I care about you and, like, you know, I, I, I feel like you're attractive and everything. But at the same time, I can't give up what I have right now. I can't leave what I have right now. I can't do this right now. They're saying, I can't do what you need of me, basically. Like, they're saying, I can't do this right now. And because maybe you gave them an ultimatum, ultimatum or something, or maybe you told them, like, um, 
you need to be on my birthday or maybe you told them like just be or do this just do this one thing for me and i feel like they're saying i can't do it you know like you ask them to do one thing and it's like they're saying i can't do it basically because they're they're so busy with, with other stuff you know like they basically um they overextended themselves yeah the eight of cups but this person saying like you know um yeah i feel like you walked away or they walked away or something and um they don't want anyone to find out about this bro like yeah like i said something about keeping things under the wraps being very secretive and they hope nobody finds out about this and yeah you know the eight of cups also talks about walking away from a negative relationship or like you know walking away from a bad relationship or something so you know kudos to you i'm very proud of you and then we've got the eight of wands i just feel like you know things are just starting and i just feel like there's a vibe where it's like um you guys' connection your guys' story isn't basically over <laughs> Cause I just feel like you know something's gonna happen in the future like I'll make a video on what will happen next with this person um or what will happen when I see them again because I just feel like you know the next time you see them like I feel like something's gonna go down basically um but yeah guys stay safe hope everything's gonna be okay but I just feel like they're gonna come forward they're gonna say something to you like they're gonna approach you first even after you walked away they're gonna just like still like you know try to talk to you or something bro for real or they're going to try to confront you about certain rumors. Or they're going to say, like, you know, did you talk about me behind my back? Or um, they might be like, please give us another try or something. And then we've got the confident card. So I feel like it's all about you now. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to let them back into your life? Or are you just going to keep walking forward? But I feel like it's basically all eyes on you. Like, you Tupac Shakur, okay? I just feel like, you know, yeah, all eyes on you, basically. It's like, what are you going to do next? Are you going to um, give them another chance? Are you going to come go back to them? Do you believe them or not, bro? I feel like it's literally like, yeah, the ball's in your court, basically. And they might even play basketball, but yeah, guys. So that is what I got for part number three. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. And yeah, let's get into the next one. What's up, part number four? Let's get straight into your reading. So your song is Stand Still by Sabrina Claudio. Honestly, the song is like literally so freaking nice. They make, make sure definitely to um, listen to it. And then your overlay is going to be the Koi and Dow card, guys. And literally, guys this is gonna be a bit of intense because i heard them say something very like okay i hear you like this person loki might be mad at you guys like guys i gonna be honest guys i literally heard them saying like listen um a lot of things are going on behind the scenes that you don't know about and heard them say um like i'm sorry if you can't see the amount of effort that i'm putting in in this connection or if, like yeah them say like i'm sorry if you can't see things my way or something like that like i heard them like saying like i'm sorry about something so they're apologizing, but I feel like at the same time, they're waiting for an apology from you. And I just feel like this person might be giving you the cold shoulder or they're mad at you about something. And it's kind of like they're saying like, bro, I'm, I'm tired, I'm done or something. So yeah, guys, we'll see what's happening, okay? So we got the world card, okay? Let's see. Did you guys get the most... No, you guys didn't get the most cards. Okay, we got the four of cups. with synchronicity is already okay. Being uninterested. I feel like this person's like, you know, saying like, you know, they're going to stop trying to, you know, make you understand about something. Interesting though. And like, maybe you guys went to school together. I can see them, you know, dropping out of school. I can see them, you know, stop going to school. Maybe you guys, or maybe you guys always used to hang out. I can see them, you know, just like never hang out with you again. Or I can see them, you know, just like not answering your messages. And like, just like becoming very distant from me as well, basically um yeah like i get the vibe where it's like this might really resonate with some people but maybe this person felt like you put them in the friend zone and even though the friend zone doesn't exist i feel like they felt like you put them in the friend zone they're saying like you know um they don't want you to complain to them about your partners about your ex like they're saying listen don't tell me about that stuff like i don't want to hear about it like i like you bro like don't tell me about your exes like i don't want to hear it so I just feel like they're tired about something or something. Or like they're going to snap or something, bro. Okay, we've got the two of pentacles. Something's got to give. Okay, trying to balance everything out. Oh, okay. Got the full card, trying something new. And the strength card. Wow. Okay, I see you. This person, Loki, might be trying to play hard to get, guys. For real. I feel like they're trying to, you know, act uninterested. But at the same time, they still don't want to let this go. And I just feel like they're trying to, you know, yeah, they're trying to do something new, basically. Because I feel like maybe they tried, you know, hitting on you. They tried, um flirting with you but i feel like it didn't really go anyway and now they're trying to do a different approach basically bro for real like i feel like they might have gotten advice from a friend or they might have gotten advice about something and um yeah okay so let me for sure you've got the koi and the dark card and then we also got the world card okay but yeah let's get into your song so it says 
Thompson stole while we stand here. Yeah, don't wanna fight you. I need the same as you. I want trust too. I want lust too. I want love too. You're so unaware about the feeling. The same thing. For this person likes you, I feel like they've liked you for such a long time and it's kind of like the feelings for you haven't changed, but for real. I just feel like they're changing the whole strategy on how they're gonna get you to like them back or they're just changing their strategy on how they think about you and everything. But they still like you, bro. Like they're saying they've liked you for like such a long time. And yeah okay but yeah, you know time standing so they feel like you know they've waited wasted so much time you know trying to trying to get you to like them back or they feel like they waste, they've wasted so much time not telling you how they felt and um they're saying like they just feel like it's like pointless basically they're saying like why am i doing all this like why like yeah i just feel like they're very frustrated right now they're saying like they're they're frustrated but also at the same time they're saying i'm done like i don't want to put any more energy any of my own time in this but at the same time they don't want to this connection go completely bro it's like they keep battling with themselves basically it's like should i keep going or should they let it should i let this go should i keep keep holding on basically you know um and then yeah your channel message says if you don't want me back that's fine just don't play with my emotions Ooh, pile four they told you i'm kidding i love you guys don't come for me i love you okay i love you i love you <laughs> But yeah, they say, don't play with my emotions, okay? That's so interesting. So let's start with the Koi and Dao card. You know, I just feel like um, maybe you guys used to date in the past or something. Maybe, yeah, I feel like, you know, you liked them. They liked you and everything. You guys were happy family. You know, I love you. You love me. We are happy family. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, you guys were together. You guys were having a good time, catching a vibe and everything. But then maybe all of a sudden you started pulling back. Or maybe you started um, just... Yeah, maybe you didn't want to tell your parents that you were in a relationship or something. And I feel like it made them feel really like, oh, wow, okay. Or I think maybe, like, you told your friends that you guys are just... Or you told people that you guys were just friends when you guys were actually more than friends. Or maybe they did that as well, you know. And I feel like one of you guys felt very, like, okay, like, a bit taken aback. Or one of you guys felt very hurt by that. But I feel like at the same time, both of you guys felt hurt by the same thing, you know. Where it's like, if you told your friends, like, oh, yeah, that is just a friend. Like, you know, we're not dating. I feel like, you know, they were hurt saying that. But also you were hurt as well hearing that. And, you know, vice versa. Where it's like, you know, even if you said it or they said it, you know. I feel like both of you guys were hurt by the same thing basically and it's kind of like that sucks man that sucks so yeah i just feel like something about you guys not being honest with your guys' relationship and um yeah not really wanting to tell the world basically and not wanting to go public as well bro for real because literally this could be like a vibe where it's like this is like a lgbtq plus community maybe you didn't want to come out yet so you just didn't tell people or something you know um or well, just a vibe where it's like, yeah, you didn't tell your friends. And I just feel like they felt like you were putting them in a box. And they didn't want to be in that box, basically, as well. Um, but yeah, bro, they like you a lot. And then we've got the Four of Cups. This person is like, you know, saying now they're uninterested. They're not really thinking about anything. Um, like, you can see this person, like, you know, they're overthinking right now. And they're not even thinking about, like, the future. They're not thinking about anything. They're just so focused on the present. They're so focused on what's happening right now. That it's, like, they're just seeing... I don't want to say they're seeing red. Because I feel like they aren't that angry. But I feel like low-key, like, all they see, all they think about is, like, this one thing. And it's, like, they can't think about anything else right now. So, um... Yeah, and I feel like whatever the last thing you said to them is really, like, you know, it's stuck a chord in their base and it's, like, they're really, like, you know, like, wow, bro, like, I can't believe you said that, like, that really hurt me. So I think you might have hurt this person's feelings for some reason. Wow, oh my gosh, shame in. They feel really hurt right now. Two of Pentacles, and they're wondering, you know, like, because the two of pentacles talks about juggling you know you're like trying to juggle your finances you're trying to just juggle everything and it's like you don't know what to do now like what should you lay down what should you put down basically you know because it's kind of like carrying a bunch of, oh there's another airplane are you kidding me but yeah um it's kind of like carrying um a bunch of things like carrying like you know like when you go grocery shopping and then like you only want to make a one trip back so you try to like carry all those bags and it's kind of like you can't really you know handle anything else and then it's kind of like okay you need to put something down but like you're gonna break your back like put something down you know what i mean so i feel like um this person just feels like they're not really sure you know should they let this connection go or should they try to just you know keep holding everything and just like you know make it through that one trip and then it's like but for what though it's like was it even all worth it you know at the end and that sounded so sad, but like for real guys, okay? And then what the full call, this person's like, you know, I feel like at the same time, it's kind of like, they still feel like, you know, there might be hope for this connection, but like they're saying like, if you if you don't want me back, that's fine. They're saying like, you know, they like you. They're saying, you know, they'll go through whatever you want or like they'll, you know, 
they'll stick the neck out for you basically they got, they're saying they'll stick the neck out for you but like you know they want you to make sure that they're doing it for like you know a reason and um i just feel like you know they want to start something new with you they want to yeah i just feel like you know the full card is about fresh energy starting something new um not really knowing all the facts but still going through with it as well being brave as well um but i feel like they're saying like you know they just need to know that like you like them back as well though that's the thing and then we've got the strength card so this person feels like um you're a very strong person and I just feel like, you know, they're saying, like, you know, like, bro, we could be together. We could have so much fun together. We could have a whole future together. But, like, I can't keep, you know, um, putting my feelings on hold because you're busy doing this and this and this, you know. Because maybe it's you know, even a vibe where it's, like, you know, this person might be working a lot. And it's just, like, something's, like, a thing where it's, like, you know, they can't do both things. They can't, you know, um, have this full-time job and they still be in a relationship with you. And, I mean, obviously, you can work and be in a relationship. I just feel like this person feels like or maybe you feel neglected in somehow but it's like they can't give you attention and it's really hard you know just this person feels like it's very hard to like you know balance everything basically in their life um and yeah they don't want to play with your emotions bro because it's really like the two of pentacles it's like is this pentacles or is it your heart bro for real you know it's like what are they trying to balance your feelings or like what now but yeah guys and then we even got the world card so i just feel like you know this talks about you know new opportunities and i just feel like you know you guys definitely will be able to you know make it through this um I just think it's going to take a lot of, like, you know, compromising and, like, communication to the max, but for real, like, communication is a huge thing. Um, and I just feel like you guys need to talk to more people as well for some reason. I'm getting that as well. Where it's like, you guys might need a bit of perspective or something. You know, looking at this from, like, you know, a bird's eye view type vibe, where it's like, you know, try to see things in a more, um, yeah, in more perspective as well. Because, yeah, like I said, you know, things are happening behind the scenes and everything. It's like, maybe you aren't aware of it or they aren't aware of it or something. So, um, yeah, because I feel like something might be distracting this person. And it's kind of like they haven't told you about it as well. So, something's on their mind that they haven't told you about. And I feel like they really want to, like, just, like, let it off. They want to get it off their chest, basically. So, you know, ask them, are they okay? Ask them, how are they and everything? But, y'all, yeah, guys, that is what I've got for Panama for. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. And let's get into the next one. What is up, pile number five? Let's get straight into your reading. So, who has their eye on you? All right, hey. So, your song is What You Need by The Weeknd, and then your other one is going to be the Cancer Scorpio Pisces rising. So, yeah, maybe this person has a water sign rising, and then, yeah, these are your cards. So, um, the message that was coming in was I heard this person say something like, um, wow, it's actually really interesting. I heard them say, like, um, oh man, what did I hear? Okay, I heard them say, like, I like you, okay, like, I like you, I like you, I like you, and then I heard them say, like, um, maybe I shouldn't have told you this, but I needed to let you know. Like, I remember there was an interview with Jordan Fisher, not Jordan Fisher, whatever that guy, Noah Cindiano and Laura Jean. Um, I remember there was an interview, and they said, basically, like, you know, if you like someone, but you know that's just gonna make things worse, would you still tell them? And then the guy was like, yes. And the girl was like, well, no, I didn't think you should. And he was like, why? And I just feel like this person might have felt like, you know, telling you basically made things worse. But they're saying, like, at the same time, um, oh, there's another airplane. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I feel like everything is low-key very bright. No, it's fine. So I just feel like, um, where was I even? Oh, yeah, like, this person just felt like they weren't really sure if they should tell you if it's going to make things worse or not. But um, they felt like they needed to tell you, basically. And something about like i like you but i don't know what else you want from me i don't know what else you need from me so um yeah really literally, like with the what you need bro like literally a lot of you know it's about needs at once bro so i think this person's priorities might be a bit of like out of whack where it's like they don't know if they want you if they need you they don't know if it's romantic attraction or platonic attraction or um what's the romantic attraction platonic romantic or romantic romantic oh i forgot the different attractions bro so many i'll put it on the screen Okay, I forgot the different types of attraction, but, um, yeah, they don't know which one it is, basically, so, yeah, anyways, let's get straight into it, okay, who has the eye on you? And you guys also got the most cards, literally, pal five. So, we've got the Sunday and Friday, we've got the mix and match card, we've got the outfits, okay, as well. Okay, we got the five of swords, it came out, right, so, synchronicities, five of swords, and everything. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles, bro, so much five energy, bro, separation, and, you know, change and everything, bro, for real. Oh, my gosh. This person knew that they shouldn't have told you that they liked you, bro, for real. They knew it would only make things worse. 
but they did it anyways. I feel like this person might have even like, you know, tried to maybe mess up your guys' relationship on purpose, or they kind of put you in a situation where it's like you had to maybe say no to them, or they just put you in a very uncomfortable situation where it's like you had to defend them or something, and it's kind of like, bro, that was not cool, bro. Not cool, man. Not cool. Knight of Pentacles. So unsteady, though. Now they're just like, you know, waiting and trying to see what's going to happen next, basically. Okay. And then we've got the Six of Pentacles. Interesting that it's a five and the six, the progression. They're hoping you're going to, like, you know, forgive them or something. Or they're hoping you're going to, like, you know, take the bait. I guess you could say take the bait. Because this person finna sleep with you, bro. They finna sleep with you. And then we've got the Judgment card, okay. So interesting. Let me first show you the cards. We've got the Sunday and Friday. And then we've got the Mixed Mash. And we've got all this clothing as well. So maybe there's someone that likes wearing, you know, t-shirts. And then, like, or t shirt what tank tops under their t-shirts or something or they like wearing you know two different shoes where it's like they like wearing chucks on one side you know knocks on the other like they like wearing mixed match shoe mix matched shoes and then other days they like wearing very you know suit and tie they like wearing you know very sophisticated clothing as well definitely or they have a job where they have to wear you know very fancy clothing or something and yeah something about them watching on instagram as well is coming up as well like they follow you on social media and then, yeah, we've got the Water Sun Rising, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So let's get into your song. So it says, okay, I just want to take you there. He doesn't know where. Does he touch you? Yeah, like this, this, this. And I'm a love you girl. Ain't no one gonna stop us. Just fight through the pain. I'm a do. Wait, I'm what you need. <gasps> guys, this is literally such a freaking a sexual ass song, guys. Like, literally, oh my freaking. Okay. And then, yeah, and then we've got your... Um, channel image which says grocery aisle. So do you think this person might like might even low key be like a stranger? Like you don't even know them that well, bro, for real. Like this person might even just be like someone that's cat calling you. That's like gross, get away. But like if it's not someone that's cat calling you, I feel like it just might be someone that you don't know that well. Yeah, a thousand percent. Yeah, you don't know them that well. And then it says take what you need. Don't mind being used. Okay. 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 I'm gonna down the song. Um. I think it's called The Worst of You. Oh, sorry, guys. Worst of You by Macy something something. Macy Peters or something. I'll link it down below. Oof, I just felt like a lot of energy just left me for some reason. Okay, anyways. um, So, let's first start with the Can Scorpio Pisces Rising. So, this person might be someone that comes with very emotional. Um, Yeah, very, very emotional. I just feel like um this person's like yeah you might even see them as being a very emotional person very like dramatic very needy or something very clingy and i just feel like you know you could be watching, looking at this person kind of thinking like bro this person seems very weird very intense i don't really know if i like them like i just feel like you might even be low-key creeped out by this person bro for real like maybe you feel like they're a bit creepy um because bro like no offense but like you know water signs can be very creepy you know water rising signs can also be even more creepy bro <laughs> Like, I've never met one Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Rising that's, like, not a bit creepy, bro, for real. Maybe they stalk you or something. Um, or just, like, yeah, they're a bit, like, mm, okay. So, yeah, you might be a bit, like, I don't know if I like you like that, bro. But there's a vibe where it's, like, you guys definitely might end up being friends of benefits or they like you in a friends of benefits type of way, bro, for real. Um... Because it feels like maybe they don't have that many romantic feelings for you. But I feel like they are. They have some sort of feeling for you. Some sort of attraction. And like I said, they're not sure which one it is, basically. And yeah, attraction is such a freaking hard thing to do, bro. Like, ugh. So many attractions. Um, but yeah, anyway. So with the Five of Swords, I feel like um, this talks about basically a deceitful friend. It talks about a false friend. It talks about um, just doing something behind someone's back, basically. Um, so this person felt like maybe... Um, ooh, bro. Like, there's a vibe where it's like this so this okay that's what i was eating bro so th somebody likes you bro and i feel like maybe they liked you and also their best friend liked you as well at the same time and maybe they knew their best friend liked you but th but then they kind of like try to like you know they still try to you know be with you even though like they knew like you know bro code girl code whichever gender code whatever whatever it is, where it's like common decency where it's like bro you can't go up to your friend's ex bro it's like what and like there's a vibe where it's like low-key they might have done that as well you know so um this might be your ex's ex or this might be you know your best friend's brother or something like that and i just feel like you know you know it's like bro it's like walking on thin eggshells or whatever but this person so far like they wanted to basically be with you like they're saying i don't really care i don't care who gets hurt from this connection like it is what it is like there's that vibe basically so um yeah and then we also got the five of pentacles this talks about um 
you know, being there with someone or being there for someone and then realizing that actually it's like, wow, this person actually really is not treating me well. And I just feel like um, maybe this person was in a relationship where they weren't really treated well emotionally. Maybe they were emotionally like abused or something. And I just feel like, you know, they left that connection basically. Um, and I feel like maybe you were the first person they saw after the connection. And it's kind of like they want something with you, but I feel like maybe they need more time to heal. But there's a vibe where it's kind of like they're moving very fast and they don't really care, you know, who they end up with, basically. Because it is a vibe where it's like, you know, they just want sex as well, though, for real. Um, like I'm getting a lot of, like, you know, sexually charged energy just basically at you. Um, because I feel like they don't even know you that well. Yeah. And then we've got the Nine of Pentacles, slow and steady. So this person's like, you know, just trying to, you know, see what happens, basically. I can see them, you know, trying to maybe comment some heart that's on your photos. Or I can see them, you know, trying to be very subtle, trying to be like oh hey mommy or whatever you know they're trying to be super subtle super 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 subtle but i feel like you know if you i don't want to say take the bait but i just feel like you know if they see you flip back with them they're gonna be like mine okay we're gonna do this and this and this i just feel like as soon as you you know show the status or uh, you know hint of like you know like you might be interested like they're gonna be like okay 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 like let's do this like they're gonna reel you back in bro for real they're gonna, the they're gonna be like okay here we go here we go here we go or like we're like they might even like you know send you a dick pic or send you a whatever pic bro for real I just feel like as soon as you show even like the slightest bit of attraction, they're gonna be like, mine, mine, mine. So excited and everything, literally, bro. But like they're waiting, they're waiting and waiting and waiting until you show like the slightest sign of like you're, you want them back, bro, or something. But yeah, okay, like even the song talks about um, um, like, you know, you want him, you want him, but I'm what you need, okay? So it's kind of like, okay, y'all walking on thin ice, okay? Thin ice. Like, you know, the song of the weekend where it's like, um, you take Monday, Thursday, I wanna know it, huh? That song, like, that type of vibe. Um, but yeah, I'm getting something about sending dick pics, sending, like, nude pics online or something like that. So this might be an online connection as well. Because yeah, I was getting Instagram dating app or something like that as well. Something about online, this happened online. And then we got the judgment card. So I just feel like it's all about low-key similar to pal four three or something about, you know, the thing being in your core, ball being in your core, basically. I feel like it's up to you whether you're going to show that you're interested back. I think that's going to definitely determine whether they even, like, you know, try to even, like, um, carry on, you know, trying to pursue you, basically. Because they don't mind, you know, being used if it. I don't mind, but, like, you know, if you just want to have sex with me, like, that's fine. If you want a relationship, that's fine, too. But, I mean, if you just want sex, like, that's even better. <laughs> like, we're for real yeah so it's all about like you know are you gonna do it are you not gonna do it like you know do you just want sex or do you want an actual relationship bro that's the actual question so you definitely this might happen on a sunday or friday and um yeah guys that is what i got for part number five i really hope the video resonated i love you so much and let's get into the next one what's up on my sister get straight into your reading so okay your song is heavy by kiana lead and then we got your over energy Literally, you guys you guys got you guys also got the most cards like you guys pile five and pile six got the most cards so your over energy is going to be the bluebird and then we also got the silent vlog so definitely i will link down the poem bluebird by um charles bukowski and then yeah so it was very interesting guys like for real past six i think the person that's questioning you the person that's the hour news like very interesting character definitely very interesting um but there's this vibe where it's like this person was saying like it's not that easy like i can't just tell you that i like you like they're saying it's not that easy for some reason um like yeah i just feel like this person feels very stressed out and they're kind of saying like um like you can't like it's not that easy for me or like things don't things aren't black and white basically you know where it's like i feel like this person feels like there's like a lot of different layers to them or maybe um yeah but something about them saying like you know like it's not that easy. I can't just tell you that I like you. I can't just do this. I can't just do this. Like, we aren't the same. Like, da-da-da-da. This definitely might be a cultural thing. But I just heard them say, like, you know, like, I can't just do this and this and this. Like, I can't just do this. I can't do this. I can't do that. So, um, yeah, you know, this person just might be putting off a lot of things right now in their life. Or I feel like they're going through a lot of things. But, yeah, you guys got literally the most cards. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can fit everything. Okay, we've got the sticking out card okay this person feels like they stick out in a crowd as well okay we've got the meet you half away okay we've got the boots called the 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 car what's it called the shoes card okay um the tickies but are the tickies we've got the four souls okay healing energy so this person feels like they need to take more time to heal be by themselves and everything yeah they aren't really sure if they're ready for a relationship okay the wheel of fortune but they're waiting for things to change 
they know things will change later like i feel like this person's like saying i can't be with you right now but like you know one day i'll be able to be with you like one day we'll be together like one day is one day basically you know but like not now okay we've got the ten of cups they feel like they can see a future with you as well a successful future as well maybe you have kids or they have kids or something and they feel like they aren't ready for the kids to meet you and they feel like it's not the right time basically yeah or they might even live with their parents. I can just see them saying, like, now it's not the right time, bro. Like, I, we cannot do this right now. The nine of wands, they're afraid about what's going to happen if this connection doesn't work out. Or if they, get, if they get too attached to you or something. They're afraid of this connection. The seven of cups. They're looking at other alternatives or they're trying to find alternatives as well. But now, is it alternatives to fix this connection or is it alternatives to avoid this connection? Mm. And so I have this on a route, guys. I love you. You know I love you, okay? Mwah, mwah, mwah. So um, let's see. We've got the bluebird and then we've got the silent vlog, guys. I freaking love the bluebird, guys. Like, I freaking love um, the poem. So yeah, and then we've got the seeking out and we've got the meet your halfway card. Will you meet me halfway? Live at the corner. Of my okay so yeah it says i don't got my priorities straight don't know who i'm gonna be today deal with shit on the daily i don't like showing weakness so i always fake it bro nine of wands they don't like showing weakness um so i always fake it maybe when i'm older when i'm wait i'm scared because something feel like it's weighing me down <gasps> guys this person feels scared because they're scared something's weighing them down oh uh, my gosh bro okay and then it says, the channel message says, I'll tell you when I'm older, I feel like you'll reject me if I tell you how I feel. Do you even like me? That makes way more sense. We're like, they're saying they can't just tell you that they like you because what if you reject them? And I feel like this person does not do well with rejection. They're, they don't want you to reject them, bro, for real. Like, they'd rather, like, you know, avoid you and not know if you like them back. Like, bro, for real. I feel like this pile is, like, super relatable because it's kind of like, you know, if you like someone, but then it's kind of like, you don't want to get rejected. So you just, like, rather be like, it's fine. I'll just, like, you know, keep it to myself, write it about you in my diary and, like, never tell you how I feel ever. Like, literally, bro, that is this person, bro. Like, literally, yes, that is so relatable. They might be an INFP. They might be, um, yeah, I feel like I'm getting INFP type of for like, INFP, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, something about, like, you know, being very, like, um, introverted. Very just, like, yeah, you know, to themselves and everything, basically. Or they might even be, like, a type, a type, what's it, a type 9? Or, like, their life path number might be, like, a 9 or 8 or something. Yeah, 9 or 8. So, let's start with the Bluebird card, okay? This person feels like um, everything happens for a reason. I feel like, you know, they're kind of, like, saying... Um, yeah, they just feel like they aren't ready right now. They're saying, like, they can't get into this relationship right now. They feel like it's not the right time. And they just feel like something about, like, I feel like especially if they do have kids, though. Like, they're saying, like, they feel like their kids, they don't want their kids to meet you, you know, like you and everything. And then, like, you know, if you guys break up, it's kind of like they're going to have to, like, what are they going to do afterwards? Well, they feel like they're afraid if they get attached to you, it's going to be like they they don't want to get attached to you, basically, you know. And yeah that maybe they're afraid you're gonna reject them because you know the blue bird where it's like the birds can just fly away um but like it's kind of like having a bird as a pet where it's like you know having a bird as a pet's a very thing where it's kind of like i feel like birds shouldn't be pets but like another thing is kind of like if you keep them in the cage obviously you can have to let them out eventually and it's like they want to fly bro. they want to be free and it's kind of like if the if they can't wait what's that quote where they say if you love someone let them go if they come back to you, that means they truly it was truly meant to be you know if they don't come back it means it wasn't meant to be and they're kind of like you know saying like you know they don't want to let you go they don't want to you know take the chance basically because what if it's a no and you guys don't ever end up you know together or like they're just they're afraid of like you know letting you go basically i feel like they're afraid of that and then you're with the blue bird and then we've got the geese here so you know the bird and everything um is, is a penguin a bird bro apparently i heard like if it if they can't fly it's not a bird i, I don't know but um yeah there's a vibe where like they're afraid to you know let loose they're afraid to you know open up they're afraid to come forward to you basically um they'd rather just like you know stay in the cage they'd rather just you know just stay wherever they are right now and then with the silent vlog card you know this talks about you know loki talks about depression and it talks about um just like not wanting to open up it talks about you know just like being very quiet and yeah maybe they're like you know the quiet kid in class like they don't even speak to people very introverted they don't have that many friends um they don't like trying out new things um yeah i just feel like they might be watching you from like 
like, um, what's it, watching you from afar basically, but like, they don't want to come forward. And they're saying, I'll tell you when I'm older, I feel like you're going to reject me. They say, so they're saying, like, you know, they'll tell you when, like, they can find their voice. They'll tell you when, like, this. They'll tell you when this. Like, they keep postponing, you know, when they're going to tell you, basically. Because it's either A, where it's like, you know, you... No, I feel like you'll definitely know who this person is, like, bro. They might even be your best friend. Or they just might be someone you know, but you don't know that well. But it's like, you know them, though. Like, maybe you've hung out with them, but, like, you guys aren't that close. But it's like, you know who they are, bro, for real. And then we also got the Four of Swords. So this person feels like they need more time to heal, be by themselves and everything. Um, yeah, they're, like, they're not sure when's the right time, basically, to come forward and tell you how they feel. I just hope my phone, my camera doesn't die. Um, but yeah. They're afraid of, like, you know, what you're going to say, basically. So they're taking time to just be about themselves, basically. The Wheel of Fortune. They hope things will change. They hope eventually they'll have more courage and confidence to come to you and tell you how they feel. But they're not sure when that day is going to come, basically. They're not sure when they're going to have more confidence to come to you. The Ten of Cups. Because they feel like they really like you. And they feel like they feel a connection between you guys. But they're not really sure, you know, how deep does it go. How deep is your love? I'll link it down below. Is it like the ocean? Mm -hmm. They're not sure how deep does it go as well. Yeah. The Nine of Wands, they're afraid of the past. They're afraid, afraid, afraid. Seven of Cups, I feel like they just might be looking at other op options, like I said, other alternatives or something about how they can, you know, try to make, like, literally, it's like, meet you halfway. So I feel like, you know, they're trying to think of a way how they can tell you how they feel, but, like, not tell you directly and also, like, not put themselves, you know, too much in the open, but also, you know, be subtle enough to, like, you understand what they're trying to say, but, like, not too subtle ways, like, you can't, you know, get the hint that they like you. So it's like they're trying to think of a way to you know, do that, basically. But yeah, guys, very interesting. And yeah, they feel like they stick out. I just feel like they're saying, like, you know, we're very different from each other, so that's a way how you'll know who they are. Maybe it's a different culture, or just, like, they're very different from you. Um, things are very different for them, or maybe they still live with their parents, or it's kind of like they're still in school, or in high school or something. But something about them saying, like, bro, we're not, like, we're not the same. Um, and yeah, something about meeting each other halfway as well. So they're saying they want to meet you halfway, or they'll try to meet you halfway as well. But yeah, guys, that is what I got for part number six. I really hope the video resonated. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below other video suggestions if you would like to as well. And yeah, love y'all.